Hello and welcome! Today we are going to have a quick tutorial on how to access and use a great resource here in the library called Gale eBooks. Keep watching for tips and tricks on how to up your background research game. To find Gale eBooks, start on the campus homepage to locate the library website. Click Campus Life and then Library Technology Center. Click the Research tab on the library homepage, then choose Encyclopedias. Scroll down until you see the link for Gale eBooks and then click on it. If you are off campus and not already signed in to your library account, you will need to do so before proceeding. Welcome to the Gale eBooks homepage. Most of the time, you'll want to stick with a basic search, but as you can see, you are also able to choose a subject search for topics like climate change or feminism. Remember to use quotes if your search term is more than one word. Let's try a basic search. My search for climate change gave me a result for an article called Climate Change and Geoengineering from an encyclopedia called Philosophy, Environmental Ethics, published in 2017. Evaluating your results is simple. The large blue words are the title of the article within the book. The smaller blue title below is the title of the book in which the article was found. Let's click on the title to dig a little bit more into this article. As you can see, our search term climate change appears in orange anytime it is found within the article. The words in blue will give you links to other encyclopedia articles about those words. For example, I may want to do some additional searching for greenhouse gases or maybe deforestation. Another fun thing you can check out with the articles in Gale eBooks is the bibliography. If you scroll all the way to the end, you can find a list of resources the author of this article used to write knowledgeably about this topic of geoengineering and climate change. Below the bibliography, you can see an auto-generated citation for this article, which is great if you'd like to use the information from this article in your own paper. You can also get to the citation by clicking the cite button at the top of the screen. But remember, machines are only as smart as the humans who make them, so it's important to double check any auto-generated citation for accuracy. With premium sources with secure sign-ins like this, you can't just copy and paste the URL from your browser. In order to save this article, you can choose Send to, Download, or Print from the top toolbar if you need a permanent link, often called a permalink on other sites, to any page in Gale eBooks, use the Get Link button from the navigation bar on top. Using this link will prompt you to sign in if you click on it from off campus. We hope you found this video to be useful. If you have any questions or would like a librarian to help you research your topic with Gale eBooks, connect with a librarian through our 24 hour chat service, email us at library at shoreline.edu or stop by and see us when the library is open. Thanks so much for watching. Happy researching.